This is each of £20. I'll give you the phone number afterwards, and the winners will be named in our Cup Final Inquest programme tomorrow afternoon at 2. So you can watch the game, enjoy our competition, and perhaps win yourself £20. The Arsenal team then, first of all, entirely as expected, with Peter Storey having been past fit to take that number four shirt and such an important role in the middle of the field to destroy and to try and create as well. The substitute, Eddie Kelly, who scored such a vital goal against Stoke last week, substitute once more. The footballer of the year, as we say, the Arsenal skipper, Frank McClintock. As two great captains meet, who's going to win this toss? Not that there is very much advantage to be gained, it's almost a still afternoon. And he looks as though he wants them to turn over. Here's the Liverpool side. Again, very much as expected. Perhaps uh, the only minor surprise is that Peter Thompson was substituted. Alan Evans wears the number eight shirt. And as we were saying earlier, that might well mean that he is... We're going to get a great final as the 1971 Cup final gets away. Liverpool all in red then, defending that goal to our left. Toshak immediately showing his power in the air. This time a state back. Graham right back to uh, hook it away for the Arsenal. Hughes to pounce on it. Evans. And Hall. There he is in his midfield position straight away. And still Hall going on. Toshak. Really worrying moments these for the Arsenal. Hall almost getting a chance to turn it in. And it's not away yet. Graham taking far too long to get it away. Heart searching moments there for the Arsenal. And now they are away with Kennedy. A good pass by Charlie George. And Kennedy's shot going across that Liverpool goal. Tried as McNabb now turns it for Armstrong and hard across there. Kennedy getting up. And Story will go in and challenge. And in fact, he took the goalkeeper without the ball. And Liverpool, I think, with some justification incensed. Graham doing well in the air there, finding Charlie George. And now John Radford. Smith has gone with him. Oh, and Smith took him after the ball had gone, and Radford hurdled him beautifully to the far side. Story going in, and Lindsay getting ahead there first to put it behind. Great cheers there from the Arsenal fans for a very promising Arsenal move. And McClintock winning that one well in the air. George Graham, a nice little touch off there for Charlie George. And he let that one go! Strike those balls beautifully. Evans a little flick and Lindsay following it through and Tommy Smith with a shot. And Wilson behind it all the way. To Story. Radford. Armstrong's made a run towards the far side. Armstrong! My goodness, that was close! Armstrong completely undetected by that Liverpool defence, and by Chris Lawler in particular. ...for the year, behind the Arsenal skipper Frank McClintock. So Arsenal then to get us away at the start of the second half. McNabb, and now Radford. Oh, trying to lift that over Smith's head, he lifts it forward for Kennedy! Oh, what a miss! That was some fine work there as uh, Kennedy applauding his fellow striker Radford, and Kennedy really ought to have made that one count. Here it is again, Radford yeah. doing some superb work. Who usually stations himself at the near post wasn't there, so McNabb now. McNabb again. Story to leap for this one, and beaten though, and Charlie George to build it, my goodness he hit that! There's nobody on this field who hits a sweeter ball than Charlie George, but that was wide. But that was a nice turn of the ball for him, and he's got Kennedy in the middle for him, Radford going on, but straight into the arms of Clements. Boy. Simpson winning it in the air, Callaghan now. Peter Thompson, his first touch of the ball, away goes the Liverpool substitute. But the cross is there for Toshak, turned back now, oh, and a fine clearance by Simpson there for the Arsenal. Hughes now looks as though he's taken a knock, but the play going on.
but a marvel. Shankly on the right of the picture. Oh, and there's a good little bit of play there, but the linesman was flagging as he'd been pulled back. What a pity for Liverpool. Ryan Hall sneaking past a strong Arsenal challenger. Bill Shankly contemplating if only he'd been allowed to go on into that space. Bob Matthewson, the referee there. Peter Storey, the Arsenal uh, man who's off the field. Bertie Mee and Don Howe, and here's the free kick from Tommy Smith for Liverpool. George Graham to get ahead to it. Swung towards the left, and there's Kelly and Radford here. Kelly. Radford. And a first-time cross there. Kennedy turning it down! Met that very nicely indeed. Was always leading his defender by half a yard. But it's Radford to take it. To summon up an effort for a long one. George Graham will try and flick it on. My goodness, he almost got it there. And flicked away finally with the skipper doing a skipper's job, the number four, Tommy Smith. Well, let's look at it again now and watch how high Graham gets up there. Tremendous jump and the left-handed save there, a reflex save of Clements. And now, well, and now the corner. Oh, and almost, and almost there again by Graham. And Liverpool in terrible trouble until Larry Lloyd finally gets it away from Graham's header. And now Thompson to Hughes, pounding away. Highway over on the far side, covered by McClintock. Highway versus McClintock. And Highway turning it back and Wilson there. Off the foot of Bob McNair. Beautifully for everything still. And there's a man prepared to take on his full back with a shot just over. Let's watch. That's the way it gets us up here as well. But Callaghan with the corner. And it's Radford who gets it away. Hall who tries to get in there. And Wilson who grabs it from under his crossbar. And Hughes. McNabb in there, and Rice, and there goes the whistle for the end of 90 minutes. And now the players will rest themselves for a couple of minutes, get fresh instructions. There's Norman Birch, you'll hear the managers coming out. And then they'll face another 15 minutes each way. L Lloyd winning it again. Hughes to Thompson, and away on the left is Highway. Still Highway, dangerous indeed! Oh, goal! Oh, that's the goal! Steve Highway for Liverpool! Wilson came away from that near post, and Highway found the gap. A man who has done so little in the game, has made the one big strike. And here it is now, it's the first time he's taken his man on in the game. He's streaked for that line, which he loves doing. Bob Wilson had come too far off his post there, and it was in on the near post. Really, a goalkeeper shouldn't be beaten like that. In fact, we've seen Highway do that before on television. Squeeze it in where the ball shouldn't go. So Steve Highway, unknown at the start of this season, has put Liverpool ahead in the cup final, and now it'll need all of Frank McClintock's leadership to pull it back. So Arsenal's free kick, Peter Simpson with it. A deep and a curling one, and Clements lost it for a moment and got it bravely at the second goal, with a fair number of feet flying in on that little incident. Kennedy. George and Kennedy again. Radford. Back over his head. Kelly is right in there, playing much more as a striker in this extra time. And it's there! George Graham! It's George Graham who got the touch and makes it 1 1. So 1 1 now. Kelly, who was right up there amongst the strikers. Well, it was a kind of muddled goal, this. The ball went up high. John Radford flicks it up and takes a chance. Says, somebody go for that. And Eddie Kelly goes for it, although he's got no chance. And as the Liverpool defenders dither, George Graham's there, gets a toe to it, and it dribbles past Clements into the net. 
an untidy goal, but at this stage of a cup final, they're just as effective, untidy or not. And whether it's in any way significant or not, it seems that Arsenal are much more prepared now to go on with this game. Liverpool hanging back a little bit. The Charlie George has gone in, but that wasn't a good one by Armstrong. Radford disgusted with it, and I don't think uh, Charlie George was very happy. Radford, in fact, was uh, beyond that Liverpool defence. And one floated over the defence by Armstrong might have been very dangerous indeed. Graham, Radford, Charlie George. Radford. Oh, Charlie George, who can hit him? Oh, a great goal! Charlie George! Oh, what a fabulous goal by George! Clemens had no chance with that. And that puts us in the lead. The marvellous goal there from Charlie George. Absolutely superb. A good ball there from John Radford. He sees his moment and then whack. Look how far it is from the post. Inches, fantastic goal. And now we have the side of Arsenal players on the ground. Graham was down, Rice was down. They're on their feet again and the Arsenal crowd are absolutely delirious because Arsenal now are less than ten minutes away from doing the double. Charlie George, a tremendous goal for a tremendous Arsenal comeback. Now Thompson, and now the onus, so much on Liverpool. Callaghan, Toshag at the far side, but nothing left, and Wilson is there to grab it. players back only Charlie George now is out of his own penalty area as Brian Hall takes the corner at last gasp for Liverpool and Wilson is equal to it you get the feeling that nobody really had enough strength in that Liverpool attack to lift themselves and offer an aerial challenge Frank McClintock, his losing streak at Wembley is over. Four times here a loser, and now a brave and brilliant winner. Liverpool players lying exhausted on the turf, shattered after going up, and then falling behind. So Arsenal, what a week. On Monday, they clinch the league championship, and five days later, they complete the double. Even the cop are paying tribute, I fancy, to their own brave heroes and to the Arsenal as well, because that's the sort of fair-minded crowd that come from Liverpool. Well done, the cop. A magnificent double, says the scoreboard for the Arsenal. Hard luck, Liverpool, and nobody would argue with that. Frank McClintock, Bob Wilson put his arms around him, and what a cheer for McClintock as he goes up to get the FA Cup. I should think, tired though he is, he must be savouring every step, every embrace, and every moment. What a week. League Championship, back in the Scottish party, Footballer of the Year, and in a moment to hold the FA Cup aloft as well. What a smile. From His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, the cup goes to Frank McClintock and the Arsenal. Dr Stephen, the chairman of the FA, Royal Highness, the Duchess of Kent. And there it is for that wonderful crowd of Arsenal. There can't be a moment to touch it. 